So you guys know in rodeo that the, one of the big parts of rodeoing is traveling. And I was just going to give you guys, I've had a lot of people ask me about how do I travel or what's good ways to travel and be efficient. And I was going to show you what I've done with my minivan here in order to go rodeo down the road. The most important thing for me when I'm driving is that I need to be able to see where I'm going with my GPS. So I purchased this thing, it's called a Whiz Gear. You get it on Amazon for like nine or ten dollars. They give you a magnet for the back of your phone and I just attach to the phone and then this sticks to it and you can actually turn it different directions and send her on down the road. All right, so now let's go on to the inside of the vehicle. So um, I believe year 07 and on in these Dodge Grand Caravans, they have the stow and go seating. I took all the stow and go seating out. Um, it gives you more room. Um, this actually here is probably the coolest thing that I did with this whole deal. This is an AC unit, a stand-up AC unit. You get it at Menards. It is a couple hundred dollars. But basically, what I do when I'm traveling, I bungee cord it to the back of the seat so it don't go everywhere. But when I'm getting ready at night, I created some window. Um, I've got some window deals I'll show you here in just a little bit that cover all these up so that the sunlight don't come in when I'm sleeping. And all you got to do is you take this deal here, and there's a, uh, a tube that connects right here and I actually run the duct work right out the window and then this thing's all run off of, you just have to have an extension cord and at most rodeos you can plug in. I've got an extension cord down in that stone. Plug this baby in, gets her down about 62 degrees at night and you're definitely gonna be comfortable at night when you're sleeping. Another key thing that I like to have on me at all time is a cooler, um, doesn't matter what kind. This one I like, uh, basically keep my water and stuff in there while I'm rodeoing. But here we're gonna show you now the stow and go. So basically, I put a bunch of stuff in here. Now these are my visors I was talking about and each one was formed and cut for each window. And I just got them rolled up, I untie this and I put them in each window. They're like a reflector, just kind of like, you know, these here that go on the front of a window. They work just like that. I use this for the front. And then I keep my extension cord in here. Here's that duct work I was talking about that attaches to the back of that air, air conditioning unit. And then there's actually a lot more room down in there if you want to see. Um, you can put clothes down in there. I've got a chair. I mean, there's lots of room underneath there. So now I'm going to show you where I sleep and everything inside here, so come on in with me. Okay, so now that we're inside the van, um, the one thing I really like is I took some parachute cord here and I ran it from one um, side to the other. And this is a great place to put your cowboy hat holder while you're traveling. Well, I know a lot of guys put them up on the dash, but I like to hang my hats there. Another thing is, you don't have to have one of these, but if you get one of these fans, they'll actually plug into an electrical um, cigarette lighter. You can run air, you know, run the, keep the air moving around. I mean, the air conditioner does a good job, but just kind of keeps things moving. And then uh, these bunk beds, I just made them out of uh, two by fours, and uh, I took this here and put this carpeting over, kind of made a nice, took some um, OSB board, carpeted it with this, and then covered that, got it all at Menards. I think I had $30 in all this. And then this mattress I actually bought on Amazon. Um, it was a full-size mattress. It was a six-inch memory foam, which may or may not be too much. I like to be comfortable, so it's a little bit much down on the bottom, but uh, super comfortable. I cut it right in half with a razor blade as soon as I opened it up before it got real big and I put it up here, and yeah, I mean, it fits, uh, fits me pretty darn well. I'm a pretty tall guy, 6'1", so I sit up here pretty comfortably. And then even down here, I've slept on both the bottom and the top bunks. You can get up underneath here pretty easily. Get down underneath here. Got plenty of room underneath here, as you can see. And I actually made enough room you can get your head up, uh, and you can sit here and get some good sleep. Then we'll go to the back and I'll show you the last couple things. All right, and so the last thing are a couple things. Um, I ran a wire here um, and I like to hang my clothes up on here, put my shirts and jeans and jackets and whatnot. You can run it from this end to this end. It doesn't cause any problems when you're closing the actual trunk. Um, here's kind of what the back of that looks like. Obviously that pillow makes it look like there's way less room, but there is quite a bit of room underneath there. The only thing you're gonna have to do now the reason why you pull that stow and go seat out of the back is it gives you more room to put your bags, your gear bags. 
I kept a little of that carpet for incentive to stand on if I want to change outside. So when you pull out this back seat, there's an, a, a gap here and you got to fill the gap. So what I did was I took a piece of that OSB board here and I pretty much just made it the length of this back portion so that when this bed lays down, it has something to lay. Now there's actually a lip here that this will rest on really well if you do it right. So it actually rests right, rest right on there pretty darn well. So I hope you guys enjoy checking out my rig and what I take when I'm rodeoing down the road. And if you can take any tips from this, great. Like, comment, and share. If you have any questions, feel free to ask us on Facebook or social media or any type platform. And I hope you guys are doing great. And remember, we're here raising the standards for you.